extensor tendons are found at the top of your foot and over your ankle and they're often involved in extending your foot and ankle off the ground and the term tendonitis suggests that this is inflammation of the tendon however this is misleading because it's not an agreement yet as to whether it's inflammation or whether it's a degeneration of the tissue which means damage to the tissue and the recent uh, evidence suggests it's an element of both involved in the process Well, it's essentially an overuse or repetitive injury of the tendon. And this is, can either be from having very little rest in between activities and therefore your body doesn't, body doesn't have time to heal and recover, or it may be a sudden increase in load. And we're often seeing this now because of the COVID-19 and people wanting to get back to exercise. And as a result, they're probably being doing too much too quickly. It can also be related to badly fitting shoes, not having no appropriate um, uh, footwear for when you're doing your activities. Or also a possible change in your normal activities, so change in the environment or conditions. So you, you essentially know when you have extensor tendonitis when there's pain on the top of your foot. This can be associated with swelling or dif, uh, dis, uh, discomfort when walking and it can often be associated with some swelling going up your leg as well. Some people describe it as a dull ache which can be exasperated with exercise. But the key thing is you notice that there's a change in the function of your foot and often a difficulty in raising your foot off the ground and pain when it's being pushed down with certain activities as well, such as when you're cycling or when you're doing rock climbing. Well, it's like any soft tissue injury. The initial management should always be rest, ice compression for short periods of time, elevation, and then allowing things to settle down, allowing your body to heal. You may also augment this with some things called shockwave therapy or acupuncture or ultrasound therapy to help with the swelling and allow things to resolve. Once this initial stage is over, we then look at rehabilitation. And this is often a triphasic approach, looking at all the different methods of uh, muscle activation to try and help this to improve and then strengthen things up so that it doesn't happen again. We also need to look at the underlying cause. So is this an issue with your training uh, techniques, your equipment, your footwear? And we need to look at addressing these causative factors to avoid this happening again. The most important factor is that it should be a stage return and you shouldn't rush back to doing things too quickly. You have to listen to your body and do things in a stepwise process and build yourself up to your pre-injury levels. We know if you do it too quickly, you'll go back up several steps. With extensor tendinitis in the acute phase, it very rarely needs surgery. As I mentioned, a lot of it is about resting, elevation, having a rehabilitation letting things settle but if it is left untreated it can lead to chronic tendonitis or tendinopathy and this is where you do get damage within your tendons and there's a significant thickening and dysfunction of your tendons and you notice this on a day-to-day -day basis not just with exercise and then this leads to potential for a rupture as well and this is when we need to consider surgery and so it's really important to avoid this and avoid the alteration of your function is to follow the in the acute phase, the initial uh, management techniques. If it is to get to this stage, we then need to consider the surgery and you really need to see um, a foot and ankle surgeon like myself to discuss the options.